they try? I, I, I don't know how to speak. I'm guessing they're trying to do some sort of pseudo horror thing with this room. Ooh, the Dentons. Ah, yes, this totally required two separate pages. Look at that. There's, there's enough for twice as much text on this page. Why? Uh, fucking consoles. Although many of his actions remain shrouded in mystery, we do know that J.C. Denton played a major role in resolving the Grey Death Plague. However, some suspect that he also initiated the collapse. He began as an agent for UNATCO, but realizing that it was corrupt, he joined his brother Paul and the NSF revolutionaries. Spoiler alert for those who have no idea what the original game is about. Both JC and Paul remain powerful and mysterious figures in the global imagination. Funny, in my game, Paul died. Partially because I didn't know you could actually save him when he says or when he tells you to leave and that he'll hold off the agents anyway even though no one has heard from either in decades a few radical thinkers believe the Dentons will return but have concluded that they simply perished in the collapse somehow Now well, that's more like it. They're actually utilizing the entirety of the space. Granted, there's a lot of screen space up here in here that's just completely empty, but... Saturday, August 30th. <clears throat> My family was once proud and powerful, but after the collapse, the cursed WTO regime changed all that. My father, Eldrin Braden, fought them, pushing for diver diversity and civil freedom. But he lost. Something I have to accept. He wasn't strong enough. But now my brothers and cousins and I are old enough to carry the fight. Our family's ruined, but we've moved to, into the underground. Seeing the world through a sniper's scope, Phelan has already taken several of their officers down over the last year, and Sheets continues to spy on their administrators, picking up critical intel data. Lear is keeping a journal of what our oppressors would call our subversive activities. The scientist twist is now that Caleb is broken with the family and now works directly with the WTO. My anger over this betrayal burns like phosphorus. I swear. I will see my own brother executed for this. We're going to build a resistance movement and smash those bastards and their so-called laws of economic prosperity. Senjin Braden. Interesting. Let's eliminate this. Oh. Of course, I can't use my own illumination. Ooh. Hmm. Maybe there'll be more things to unlock, so I can always come back later. Jacob's Shadow by Andrew Hammond, Chapter 12. A lot of people say the city looks like hell, Allie said. She took a long drag from her cigarette, and the glowing tip burned a hole in the darkness. Most people have never been to hell, Jacob said. She looked at him and he could hear the smile in her voice. And I suppose you have. Jacob said nothing, then stood and walked to the bed. Ali let out a small noise and shrank back against the pillows as if she'd claw her way into them if she could. He leaned down close to her ears. You like to play games, he whispered. And that's fine. But you don't want to be playing games with me because I'm the one honest man in the city. You should know that, since we were married. So, I'm getting the feeling this was the original bar area. <clears throat> With special attention to detail, you can find real treasures at a garage sale or flea market. When an item catches your attention, consider it closely. Pay special attention to the quality and uniqueness of its design. Study the master marks and designs in the appendix so you can properly identify real craftsmanship. Be sure to choose wisely. Now, oh, this looks antique. Ohio State bobbleheads. Once you've assembled your collection, you want to keep each piece in perfect condition. This means scrupulous cleaning and regular blah 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 boring. So, let's see, is there anything else in here? 
I guess I can't even pick up these tiny little boards that are part of the shelves. Skull. Why is there a skull in among these? Fairly random bit of dialogue to hear out of nowhere. Hmm. So, is there anything else? Oh, you can't pick it up? Damn. Alright, well, that was fairly interesting. Not sure if it was worth two, uh, <clears throat> two multi tools. But. Oh well. Fairly plentiful. <laughs> kind of like the looks of this place. All these stone walls. Alex D. Oop. A welcome encounter. How's the search coming? I've made some discoveries. I think that you've brought me to the right place. What's the passenger's name? My instructions forbid me to say. Maybe I could help if I knew who it was. You've been very helpful already. My computer analyzed the transceiver in your temporal bone and found some interesting data files. Those are encrypted files. I found the key some time ago. I will be using your eyes and ears to gather more data. As compensation, if you need a pilot for any reason, I will be available. Hmm. I don't like being spied on. Your notions of privacy are old-fashioned. It was a love of privacy that brought on the collapse. A love of secrets, plans, and personal possessions. I still don't like being spied on. Perhaps I am too aggressive, but a society in which everyone understands everyone else is something I think we all should strive for. How about I bug your chopper and make this learning process go both ways? Very soon we will be connected. A great advance will change what it means to be human, and there will be no further need to conceal information. But that world is not yet here. I'm starting to not like my free pilot. My chopper is ready when you are. I'll check back when I need a pilot. Yet another map. Hey, can we get some lights on in here? Oh, the lights were on. Fish News Fall, A Brief History of the Indian Crisis After the bombing, Indian officials issued a series of stern warnings to Pakistan that were, that were rebuffed with denials of responsibility and dire threats that any attempt to use the bombings as pretext for military action would be met with force in kind. From the viewpoint of the present-day hist historio hist historiographer, this was a crucial event, a game of brinksmanship that had been played between Pakistan and India many, many times before. And so, while tragic, it is also easily understood how clear signs of the impending catastrophe might have been ignored. Like two kids shoving each other on the playground, said historian Alastair Brooks, you never expect them to come to blows. That was before Pakistan began the trials of the Calcutta 16, and both nations descended into a maelstrom of political upheaval that would eventually culminate in the exchange of nuclear warheads. Alex D, you're the last one to arrive. I suppose that like the others, you're after my laboratory in the gateway to JC Dental. You're Tracer Tong. I see that Dr. Nassif didn't exaggerate about your mental acuity. Yes, I'm Tong. I suppose you will be wanting some answers. You may have already guessed that your true name is Alex Denton. Dr. Nassif was telling the truth. I'm a clone of JC Denton. With a few postnatal recombinations, yes, but our work has moved away from clones. So this gateway, I can use it to find J.C. Denton? Yes. Beneath the ruins of the Black Gate, J.C. constructed a portal to his secret base in Antarctica. Only descendants of the Denton cell line can go through. However, the facility is already in the hands of the Templars. Did the Templars use the portal? How could they unless one of the other trainees? Unless the Templars have already convinced one of you to go through the gate and murder J.C. Exactly. At a the minimum, they have a highly placed spy who has torn apart our organization starting with Chicago. What else do you know about this spy? 
Whoever it is also helped the Templars kidnap Her Holiness during a meeting with the Panzerworks Union. They are holding her at the Blackgate Laboratory. I'm going to give you a code to a secret entrance, which is in a room on the second floor of the East Tower, 2521. Look for a keypad hidden behind some crates. For all you know, I'm a Templar myself. Then Apostle Corps has already lost everything. Rescue Her Holiness. Save the summit for the sake of both factions. They will help you against the Templars. You will need the help of the WTO and Order just a little while longer. I understand. Here's something to give you an edge. A biomod infusion. It isn't much, but it's all I managed to grab on my way out of the laboratory. Ah, a tracer tongue, you say? Hmm. Funnily enough, it kind of looks like he's had a skin graft over part of his face. Hmm. Well, his voice is definitely different from the first game, so he's probably a different voice actor. That and... Hmm. I'd actually say his um, accent is probably a bit better here. The time is coming when you will have to choose side, Dalex. Be careful of the other trainees. They won't necessarily see things the way you do. All of our secrets are contained in the cells of your body, but no one will be able to make use of them without JC's help. During the collapse, JC had little choice other than exile. The merger with the Helios AI was unstable. He needed a safe place to retire, where we developed a more compatible biomod architecture. Merger with the Helios AI? Wait a, wait a goddamn minute here. That was a completely different ending from the one that brought about, brought about the collapse. Are they just merging the endings here for this? Or what? I'm curious about what you will find in the laboratory. Perhaps a holiness has learned something about the Templar plants. All of our secrets are contained in the cells of your body. Well, let's check the goals now. I need to find the lab entrance. Access Apostle Corps' lab gate. Uh, be an entrance on the east side of the ruins on the second floor. Okay. Okay, so that's why that's there. I need to find this lady. But no one will be able to make use of them without JC's help. No, your voice broke. Or your lip syncing. Whatever. Yeah. The interior here genuinely, genuinely reminds me of a uh, Medal of Honor. Uh, yeah, the original Medal of Honor. You know what, with the uh, walls here, it reminds me of a specific place. Alright, let's use the free multi-tool to open this thing up. Alright, loads of money. Panzerworks Catalog, large-scale bots. The HS-66 Hunter Secret Bot. Sleek and nimble, but it gets the job done. Railgun. The RB-76 military bot. Panzerwerk's premier large-scale bot. I don't even know what the hell kind of accent that was. A tank that thinks. Rocket launcher. Your friend, coffee. Pretty sure I've seen that one before. As much as I like coffee, I think these people are a little obsessed. Also, this is really terrible art. Somehow I get the feeling that it'd probably be a safer bet to uh, censor that, because YouTube will probably have a fit over Tommy the Talking Greasel. <laughs> what is this, a kid's book? Tommy was a greasel. He looked scary. He sounded scary. But he was not like the other Greasels. He was nice, and he could talk. He was always afraid of Bloodstain, the large red Greasel, who was the leader of his pack. Bloodstain always wanted to hurt people and cats and rats and pigeons. Tommy liked all of the people and animals, but he was not strong enough to stop Bloodstain and the other Greasels from hurting them. Bloodstain could not talk, and he was very angry when he found out Tommy could. He spit at Tommy over and over, and Tommy was lucky to get away alive. When Tommy found Timmy, a little boy in the wheelchair who could not walk or talk. Or then, rather. When Timmy saw Tommy, his eyes went wide with fear, but Tommy said, Don't be afraid. I am not a monster. I am a transgenic. I will ride around in your lap and talk for you. I was created to serve you. We can be friends. At first, Timmy's mother did not like the idea, 
In fact, she disliked it so much, she left the apostrophe out of her name when it was used as a possessive. But when she learned that Tommy could not talk, she laughed and laughed. You see, not all transgenic creatures are bad. If we give them a chance, they can be our friends. That story sucked. Let's throw a plane at it now. What about this other book? Detective Dirk Merchantson. Murchison. The Jet City Murders. I knew she was trouble the moment she walked into my office. She was the kind of woman who would never who never went to Lower Seattle without a pair of sentinels on a leash. Yet here she was on my doormat, rain soaked, alone, and vulnerable. So why was I afraid? It was some WTO hotshot, and that's how she started. He ruled the new Seattle society and he had the SSC in his hip pocket. The only way he could, she could find a detective brave enough to go down after him was by heading down the inclinator and to my office. Was it brave enough or stupid enough? Didn't matter to me. I would have done anything for a curve like her. That and the bill collectors had drained the rest of the last of my credits. She was afraid he was going to rub her out, try, and lay his hands on her family fortune. He had a mistress somewhere on the platform above, and she was in on the plot. Then there was his bodyguard, Barry the Juice. After the last time I crossed him, I knew he, even a hollow male from him would try to strangle me. Getting involved in all this was a bad idea. But hell, bad ideas are my job. Well, that was vaguely, slightly interesting. Also, I'm pretty sure the uh, lighting cast by these lamps is a little broken, because I'm pretty sure this segment of light would not be emitted. It's kind of blocked by the bowl here, but whatever. Hello. A member of the Order. Are you with the Summit? Certainly not. I live here in Trier. Seekers here don't care very much for this notion of a Summit. Why not? We have heard Luminan Saman's call for a return to scripture. In this shard, we read the scripture, the original word of Her Holiness, not what she says for the camera today or tomorrow or two weeks ago. What's the difference? What's the difference? That's exactly the attitude that opens the door to tyranny in a free state, remembering only what was said on the last talk show. What's the value of a free press when attention spans are so short? I was just curious about the summit. Sorry to interrupt. Her Holiness and Chairman Dunier are making a business deal. It may bring money, it may bring power, but it won't bring balance into the lives of ordinary people. Well, I have a, a question to add to that. What good's a free press when the free press doesn't report the facts? Hey! What? Question too hard for you to understand? If Her Holiness thinks she can put us all into a great pre-collapse wealth-making machine, she must think she's a god. Saman understands that the human body is no machine. <laughs> she's referred to as Her Holiness, and you're surprised if she thinks she's a god. For God's sake, use your brain. Cults. The lesson of the collapse is that we need to learn to live as human beings. Um, no. The collapse was caused be... I don't even remember. I don't even remember, right? I have to play the original game again, but... Pretty sure that was not the reason for it. An economic system designed for millions of people soon begins to live for its own sake. Social machinery is no less harmful to the human organism than biomodification, cybernetics, nanite plagues, and the other modern evils rightfully denounced by Lumen and Saman. Enough talk. It only makes me angry. I came here hoping to relax. Saman understands that the human body is no machine. Well, going to a bar to relax kind of involves having a drink to relax, not just standing there yelling at people. Get out of my way. Oh. Strangers welcome. Just don't make any speeches. 
Ever since this strike at Panzerwerks, people have been treating my business as their own private amphitheater. A lot of pretty phrases flying around, but it's all about one thing. Money. That doesn't look like they got any real German ale around here. Too bad. The hypocrisy is suffocating. Trying to pick my pocket, eh? Opportunity and growth. The poor poet, little scraps of propaganda. In most order, balance. Catch cheetah, you, cheetah, you know, cheetah. What a farce. Everybody just wants an easy life. Who can argue with that? This summit is just a giant photo op for certain personalities. Strangers welcome. Just don't make any speeches. Sid Black, how'd you end up in Trier? This way and that. Thought I could catch some business when the summit breaks up. Seen the sights yet? Don't mind doing local hops in between stark beer. How much? Any hops during the next 24 hours, just 50% more than the going rate for one hop. You can't beat that in this market. I'll let you know. I wonder if little situations like that <clears throat> are why Human Revolution decided to make all the you know, major talks like mm. that practically cutscenes. <laughs> you sure you locked up? Nora Guevara has been in my family for three generations. I've been locking up since I was a boy. I told you, those weapon mods are stolen. They don't belong in a display case on the side of the road. The last place the Saudis will look is the Nora Guevara shop. I am a respected businessman. I'll just be glad when we can make the drop for the Omar. Um, I wouldn't expect that to work. I kind of have them. You must be in town for the summit. I have lived here all my life. Trier has seen a lot of history, but nothing like this. I guess Her Holiness and Champion Dumier think that if they can make peace in Trier, they can make peace anywhere. People here have pretty extreme views, one way or the other. If you are order, you are fundamentalist. You want to blow up anything that has wires or moving parts. If you are WTO, you want everybody working in the factory. The rest of us are caught in the middle. I closed up shop and came in here. I decided it would be safer. Enjoy your stay. We're having a private conversation. Hey, back off. Hey, back off. Hey, back off. I do not have time for this. Really, that's enough. Booze brand lager. How inventive. <laughs> that damn icon. icon off my screen. Onward, order soldiers. God, no, not more terrible music. Bowling for booze. Alright. Well, I think at this point it's time to head back upstairs. Problem. First, I need to check on something. 